The criminal investigation into the Colorado fire is kicking into high gear this morning. Federal agents are being sent in to help determine what started the Black Forest fire, the worst in that state's history. Mop up smokes, search and destroy, find them where you can, um, maintain the perimeter, stay alert. The Black Forest fire, fueled by bone-dry conditions, has taken a devastating toll. Two people are dead. Nearly 500 homes burned to their foundations. Evacuees lined up outside the fire zone this weekend, anxious to see if their homes survived. My nerves have been on edge for three days, and that's probably not going to change until they say, hey, it's 100 percent contained. Even as the flames subside, police are keeping the area on lockdown, a move that has caused some tempers to flare. All of us are getting treated like criminals. We can't come out. If we come out, we can't go back in. We have a crime scene in there. We have fire in there. We have downed power lines in there. We have trees falling each time there's a gust of wind. Residents of areas that have reopened describe a gut-wrenching loss. John Poss, whose daughter lost her home, says it'll be a painful road to recovery. The people that lost their homes, they're going to hit bottom again when they see theirs for the first time, which probably will be this week. Some encouraging news. Authorities say they've accounted for all missing persons and that no one else died in the fire.